So at this point, you've been watching this show for a while now and you've been following along with these recipes. I think you guys are ready for a bit harder of a meal. We're gonna make some mac and cheese balls. No, the mac and cheese is not some animal. It's actually macaroni and cheese. We're gonna make balls from it. So to start, you get some macaroni. You can make your own at home. I bought for time's sake, I bought macaroni, but if you want to make your own, it's just a matter of dicing up uh, old bread. Macaroni is also good for uh, arts and crafts if you're an asshole. Ugh, it's so hot. Ugh. It's so hot. Work up a sweat making noodles. So now you've got your cooked noodles, but what's macaroni without a little bit of cheese? Some fresh cheese. Straight from the teat. Add cheese to your macaroni. Kind of just regenerates. Get a nice heaping of cheese. Oof. Oh, it's fucking hot. Ah. I always say, you can never use enough cheese. It's really, really hot. So you've got your mac and cheese. Now, the next step to make macaroni and cheese balls is you're gonna have to bread them. Any bread will work. Um, take like a, a half portion of bread. Take like a fair amount of your macaroni and cheese and then kind of just there's no it's not an exact science you sort of want to just there's a nice mac and cheese ball with some breading and throw it on the pan so I hope you were able to follow along with this one at home. I know it could have gotten a little bit tricky, but I have a lot of faith in you that your macaroni and cheese balls turned out as perfect as these ones did. Mm. Cheese whiz kind of sucks.